We've got another balk breakdown. Did he balk? Did he not balk? What's a balk? What are all these rules? But this time, it's not the umpire that called it a balk. It's the manager that wants the umpire to call it a balk. And this time, it is brought to you by our friends over at Canadips who have CBD pouches that are nicotine-free and tobacco-free, and you can get three of them for free right now. Any of their main original flavors, the mint, the citrus mango, wintergreen, and spice, for free using code JOHNBOY. You just got to pay the shipping. Let's get into this one. So we have Gutierrez on the mound. Vladdy Goots, they call him, and he gives up a double. So now he's got a runner on second. It's the top of the second inning. Runner on second, one out, got to get down to business and strand this dude. Now you can see, I think he's looking at the runner there out of the, you know, give him a little side eye. And the runner might think, man, he's not really checking on me at all. Drops a nice 79 mile per hour curve on the outer edge. This is the next pitch. And Alfred, the base runner, is like, oh man, he's not, is he looking at me here? Is he not looking at me here? I think the base runner thinks that he's not being looked at, but the pitcher is using them peripherals to see him he's gonna back the curveball up with a nice fastball on the outside edge and before we get into the balk look at these two pitches back to back riding that same outside edge but one falls off the table and one goes straight through nice pitching Vladdy Goots I like it now the runner's gonna break because he think he's not looking at him and he's like I was looking at you dude are you a fool I had eyes on you the whole time and they run a nice rundown. It maybe takes longer than you want, but everyone backs up their throw, gets in line. It looks like a it looks like a practice drill. It looks like the coach said, "Hey, you know, make this last as long as you can. I really want to test the fielders today." And Vado's the one to tag him out, who's now at third base, who started at first base, ran to second, threw it to third, followed his throw, perfect relay by the Reds. Took a while, but they got him out, and I like it. But Blake Shelton wants a box. Says Phil, he balked. No, he broke his fucking hands first. That's about four calls you missed now. He broke his fucking hands first. That's fucked up. And they don't show the umpire or anything he said back, Phil Cuzzy, but uh, here's a replay, and I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think he broke his hands first. And, and to be, like, fair, I don't know if he's allowed to break his hands first or not. I'm not a balk aficionado. I was just in about four forums, umpire forums, trying to figure it out. Couldn't find an answer. If breaking your hands first is Shelty's biggest concern, I just straight up don't think he did that. I think he stepped off and then threw it. But I, again, I don't know if that's that's a rule or that matters at all. It might not even matter. It might matter. But either either way, I don't think it. he did it. He runs at the base runner now. You know, you're going to want to run him back to second, but the base runner breaks for third, so he's fine. He's like, all right, I'll just throw it over to Moose, the third baseman at third. Moose is going to run him back. He thinks that Farmer's close enough to maybe tag him, so he tosses it to Farmer, and then, as you can see, Moose is going to go back up to play, but Votto's already standing in line. Like, I'm next in the drill, man. Now Farmer's going to run him back to third, and now we got Vladdy Goots, the pitcher there, and he's kind of like, hey, dude, I don't want to be part of this. I'm just going to get rid of it pretty quickly. He throws it to Votto. Votto throws it right back to Farmer. Now Votto runs to the back of the line and says, dude, you're a pitcher. Just get out of here, man. We got it. Meanwhile, Farmer's throwing it to India, who he's waiting there. He's going to chase him down. He thinks he's got a beat at him. And then the guy falls and Votto's waiting and he says, I gotcha. And the umpire says, out and well played. And Shelty's like, I don't know, man. Seems fishy. Seems like he broke his hands first. That's all I'm trying to say. So he got a little upset about it. He's a little bit upset about it. Anxiety might be going through the roof. Pirates are having a tough season, but you know what helps? CBD, that helps with anxiety. And if you like dipping, you can go to Canada Dips and you can get CBD in that form. You can get three for free. The original flavors, mint, mango, spice, wintergreen, three of these for free. Right now, you just go to canadips.com, use code JOHNBOY, you get three of the original four flavors for free. You enjoy it. You, you get rid of the tobacco and the nicotine, you get rid of the anxiety, and you, you, you perfect the pickle. 